Well, today it's all come down to this. You've spent uh, months building your model, sanding, prepping. We're going to get into paint mixing today, and uh, possibly spraying. I'm not. I'm not sure. But I want to get the paint mixing out of the way. So the first thing I did was, and I was a bad boy, I didn't clean this mixing cup up. This one's clean, we can use. I went to the paint store and I bought some supplies, some tape, again. <laughs> go through tape like nothing. I got some cans here. And lids. Now I haven't cleaned up the shop yet. That, that's gonna come. We're gonna we're just gonna go into the mixing uh, section of this for now. I should have got some filters. I don't know if I have any or not. <clears throat> I don't have a mixing station. Let's see, do I have any filters? I thought I had some. Oh well. Oh well, I should have got filters and I and I didn't. Oh man. Well that won't stop us. Anyway. I don't have pigments. I just have regular I don't have pigments as toners, I just have regular dope. And uh, I'm going to mix up my custom color. I probably should have cleaned the whole shop up before I, I did this, but we'll go ahead with it. Anyway. First thing we're going to do, I didn't get any mixing sticks either. Boy, I really screwed up. This dope has been sitting, oh, probably probably two months or whatever. So you want to mix it around. Gonna have to order some more dope. I know, very boring, but this has to be done. There we go. Okay, this is. This paint here appears to already have been thinned. And that's alright. That just means that I won't have to add thinner. But I will have to buy some more paint because I got five more airplanes to do. And only a half a gallon of dope half a gallon of white. So anyway, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this can and I'm going to fill it, I guess I should measure it. We'll mix 700 milliliters. I 
I asked the guy at the paint store today about his formula for gray. And he said it was all done by weight, so he couldn't give it to me. And that's all right. So we got uh, 700 milliliter. black okay this this has been hmm. like a science project here So we got 700 milliliter. We're going to mix uh, 25 milliliter of silver into that. Remember, uh, we're not looking for metallic silver. Okay, so now we got 725 milliliter. And that's not going to be enough. So we'll do another 25 milliliter. Remember, you want to. <laughs> I forgot this formula. You want to. You don't want to go overboard because you can't take it out. So that's 50 milliliter. There we go. That's better. We just want a hint of metallic in it. And then we're going to put 25 milliliter of black in it and see, see how that looks. So this is now 700, 725 milliliter. Now <clears throat> I could just dump this all in. Let me pull this out of the way so you guys can see. I could just dump this all in and and say, well, that's it. But I don't want to. Because it takes so, so very little black to turn white gray, it's ridiculous. So we'll stir in a little bit and see how that looks. That's already turned it. Yeah, it's starting to come around. Yeah, it might take 50 milliliter. Okay. There we go. I want to write the formula down too because <clears throat> it seems that this changes every year. I mean, I know how to make it, but uh, so that was uh, 
25 milliliter, so it's 50 milliliter of silver, and we're going to go with another 25 milliliter of black, so that would be 50 milliliter, makes 800 milliliter, or one quart. Yep. Yep, that's what it was. I gotta get the uh, other airplane and make sure that it's uh, close to the same color. It's not. It's still too white. Okay, so we're gonna add another 25 milliliter of black. So that's 75 milliliter of black so far. Chemistry project. Yeah, make a science project out of it. be a hundred milliliter now. Hundred milliliter of black. That looks good. Looks like. But it doesn't look metallically enough. So we had 50 milliliter of uh, silver in there so far, and 100 milliliter of black. Let's add another 50 milliliter of silver. What happened to my, there it is. That'll be an easy formula to remember. 700, 700. Seven hundred, one hundred, one hundred. Ah, got all the pigment in the bottom of this. Now, where's the dope thinner? <clears throat> Want to get all those silver flecks out of there. Looks like we're mixed over a quart. Gonna have to pour it off into that quart. the right amount of silver. So it's 700, 100, 100. Let's see if we got the right shade. Now, yeah, it still could be a little darker. Yeah, it could be a little darker. So I'm going to take and pour some of this off because I got a big mess going here. 
I really need a filter. trouble. I got no filter. So we're going to have to see if I can pour it off. All right. Okay. So we got a little room now. So I had 700 milliliter, 100 silver, 100 black. We're going to put in another, <laughs> we're going to put in another 50. Of black. Yeah, okay, we got it figured out. So, the formula for this silver, I'm going to write it down, well I'll have it on tape here. The formula for this silver is 700 milliliter of white, 100 milliliter of silver, shake this up again, 100 milliliter of silver and 150 milliliter of black. get some more silver. I do have a uh, can of gold and you can use gold flake but it gives a different uh, a different effect. Okay. Now this metallic you cannot see it in the paint here just barely. But when you get it in the sun, you can see it. So, somehow I need to get all this stuff mixed up in one can. I think uh, I was going to paint today, but I think I'm going to wait and go back to the paint store tomorrow and get some filters and have them shake this can. Might paint today anyway. It's not not that far off.
Okay, there you have it. We got the paint mixed. What a pain. I was uh, going to paint that other airplane the same color, but we only had enough for one airplane, so I'm going to paint those wings white. Can't win. <laughs> So let's put a lid on this. Okay, we got one can of paint mixed for that. I know this uh, video was uh, kind of boring, a little bit confusing. Some people say oh, my stuff is not boring. I, I find it boring, but... Uh, Anyway, what we wound up with was our military light gray and that light metallic gray in a roundabout way. I'll be uh, shooting that other airplane. with a different gray or because I'm out of silver I'll probably just use the white so let's mix up the other airplanes paint so <clears throat> this is as much paint as you should use on an airplane one half or one pint so this paint here has already been thin so it's going to be one half pint of white, which is the correct amount, and that's the end. We don't need this can anymore, so we have enough paint. Mixed for the gypsy. With a base on that. Set this aside. The reason why we're not just going to go right into a paint job is I'm going to have to clear off this table and kind of dust out the shop and get it, get ready to paint. Because if you don't, what you end up with is a bunch of dirt in the paint job. So we got that. We got this. These are empties. I have a lot of empty cans. I I keep around and I get them. The, the paint store just gives me these cans. You know, you can't hardly... They treat me so good. They gave me... A couple years back, they gave me uh, some tape. This tape here to test out. This is Fast Line Performance Grade Masking Tape. Now, he sells this to me. Now, I don't get it free anymore. But he gave me about 12 rolls to try several years back and I've been buying this fast line tape ever since. It's not cheap, it's about uh, two and a half bucks a roll but it's still cheaper than what you can get at Lowe's or whatever and it's ten times as good. So that is our paint mixing <laughs> lesson of the day. I have a lot of cans. I wonder what color this is. Ah, 
this is white, so we can use this white here as well. We'll use that up. See, that way, I have about, uh, about 30 cans of paint under the bench in different colors. And, uh, you know, I got enough to paint quite a few airplanes. But you need that white base. Remember what I said about thinner too. Don't use this $15 thinner for thinning paint. Use it only for cleanup. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to cut the video, wrap it up, and I'll edit this up. We'll get that up. And I probably won't get to painting until later. Because I have so much cleanup to do. But we're getting close. It's painting time. And uh, the details are soon to follow. So until I see you again, fair winds, tight lines. See ya!